I want the next thing I want to actually talk about was it's a Madonna clip that I found on YouTube. I just want to make sure you all know why you're here. In this room, all bets are off. It's off. Amy Schumer. Oh. Truth or dare? Dare. Wow. I found this extremely strange. Madonna is in here with a bunch of celebrities. As you can see, we got Little Wayne in there. We got Jack Black. We got Diplo. We got a bunch of big name celebrities. And interesting enough, they're doing one of those Hollywood parties where they do the, their little Hollywood rituals. There's even a scene where Dimplo takes a cup out and dips his, you know what, and then hands it to another one of those celebrities and they take a drink out of it. You know, there was a very disturbing situation going on there and they're daring each other to do things. But I want you to guys to understand that this is like the minimum of what goes on in these parties. But it is a good glance of what these people are into. This is what they do when they're by themselves. And they make it seem innocent, but there's it's not innocent. It's it's tied to rituals. It, it's tied to Alistair Crowley. Like we saw, Madonna's a huge fan of Crowley. It's all over her entire career. You see it all over. She has so much duality sprinkled all over the her, her career, all over her music videos. It's hard to avoid. Lil Wayne, when I saw Lil Wayne in there, he, it, it doesn't even look like he belongs in there, but he was so comfortable. It's like, it's normal. Well, I know why they do this. It's to normalize this because th these are rituals. What they're doing are rituals. If you pick up Marina Abramovich's book of spells, her book of spiritual cooking, like she calls it, which is just spells, they have a bunch of disturbing things in those books a bunch of disturbing things like you wouldn't even imagine why she's like she's like telling you to do the most random things and these are rituals that trace back to ancient times to the times of the pagans you understand these are when these people did these things and they practiced these things these things and they wrote them down and they passed them down in secrecy the occult passes this down that's why this doesn't become public knowledge now in the times of the internet it's hard to hide all of this and that's how i'm able to find so much but even then there's so much that it's hidden from me that i won't understand this event right here alone is very concerning because what are they all doing it, do it doesn't make sense for them to do the things that they were doing it just it, it's very unhuman but like i said if you look at that marina abramovich book it explains it all marina abramovich got her rituals directly from Alistair Crowley and Alistair Crowley claims he got his book directly from the gods literally is what he says he got his book from some Egyptian god named Aus. this is what Crowley states according to what I've read this is what how Crowley wrote the book of the law he was in Egypt if I'm not mistaken and he was tripping on substances let's just say and he claims that he got possessed and he went on a binge he didn't call it a possession though but let's be honest it was a possession he claims that uh, a spirit into him, it was a god named Awis, and she told him that he was going to bring in the order of the Aeon and that he was going to be basically like a prophet. So he was like possessed and under control by this god, and she made him write the book of the law, which is the book of spells and, and claiming, it, uh, claiming it as his own because Crowley became a mason before that happened. Crowley became a mason in Mexico. He became a Freemason, then he went to Egypt, and that's when he, he met his wife, who he thought she was a god as well, an incarnation of a god. So Crowley did all of this and wrote the Book of the Law. Then he also wrote another book called the Book of S Magic. I'm not going to say the full word, so we don't have any troubles with YouTube, but it was the Book of S Magic. And in that Book of S Magic, we see a bunch of rituals that are superiorly inappropriate and those rituals are, once again, he claims, were given to him by the god Awis. So these rituals that the celebrities are currently doing in the modern time are the rituals that he claims he got from an, he got from an ancient god. And like I've said before, I believe these ancient gods that he claims he was in contact with were no gods at all. They were just fallen angels. So he was in communication with fallen angels, with demons. And the demons instructed him to write this book of the law. And I believe Crowley realized this himself because Crowley went on to say that, call himself the beast, 666. So I think that the whole God angle was just a way for him to make it sound better. But I think that Crowley knew he was talking to fallen angels. And the reason we bring all this up with Madonna is because Madonna shows throughout her entire career that she represents this like if we go back to her grammy's performance or well not performance her grammy speech that she said right before sam smith 
went on stage and and did that super satanic ritual she went and said that she's sending praise to the to the to the rebels to the ones that brought in and, and changed it and made it okay for people to be the way you know that pushed standards and did everything they did this is what madonna was representing this is what she claims you understand this is what she purposely says herself this is what she's in the industry for i want to start getting into some questions if you guys have any questions now who uh i see kimmy saying who follows crowley well openly we've seen a lot of artists follow crowley the beatles openly follow crowley uh, crowley they put him in the cover of their um sergeant pepper's album uh, we also saw Abso openly follow Crowley. We saw Ozzy Osbourne openly follow Crowley. Jay-Z openly follow Crowley. It's so many artists for me to go off the top of my head. Oh, ASAP Rocky. Yeah, there we go. D. ASAP Rocky, his crew had a, a Alistair Crowley shirt on during their um, What's Up music, no, Peso music video, if I'm not mistaken. Another person we saw wearing, wearing an Alistair Crowley shirt was AD from No Jumper. And it's funny because AD, I remember AD saying that he's not a devil worshiper, you know, that he would, he, he's a man of God and he loves God and all this. But then one of you guys actually were the ones that sent it to me. It was a picture of him from a stream. And I found the stream of him wearing an, an Alistair Crowley shirt. So I don't, I know AD is not stupid. And I know that he knows exactly what Alistair Crowley is. And we know that people don't just randomly buy Alistair Crowley shirts from the store. This is something that he wanted and ordered and he knew what it represented. So when I saw that, I saw the true AD and I saw the fact that he was basically just lying like they all do. I don't think there's going to be money celebrities like little Uzi Vert who just openly say that they worship the devil. I don't know what these people are calling performances anymore. You know, they should just call them rituals. They should change their name from performances to rituals. I just want to give a special shout out to the Truth Movement members. I truly appreciate every single one of you. If you'd like to further support the channel, join the Truth Movement, or you can join me on Patreon where I drop exclusive videos monthly. The link would be in the description. Another way you can further support the channel is by checking out the Truth Fist store and seeing if you find anything you like. Every purchase you make goes directly to helping the channel and furthering Truth Records. Also, please leave a comment on your thoughts below and on any future topics you would like to see me cover on my channel. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you can be notified when I drop new videos. If you like this video, please leave a like as it helps other people find these videos. You can also find me on TikTok and Instagram and follow me there for more truth. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.